Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Ladies and gentlemen, it, it's, it's been a healthy conversation. There's some things that have touched my heart. The chairman mentioned lack of executive guidance for passion and purpose. Mentioned no detailed goals. Let me say that the law enforcement professionals tasked with securing our borders don't need bureaucrats or pro politicians who never worn a badge to tell them what their mission is or to, to define for them their passion and their purpose. Their passion and their purpose is etched upon their heart. It's carved upon their soul. All they need is for D.C. career politicians to provide the resources and enhance technology, physical barriers, and manpower that they have clearly requested, properly requested. Imagine that. Career D.C. politicians and deep D.C. bureaucrats quite upset that the President's overall strategy to combat massive deadly drugs that flow into our country is to actually allow law enforcement pro professionals to develop operations plans that are based on law enforcement reality rather than D.C. politics. My colleagues across the aisle have argued that our border security is working, that most drugs are seized at legal ports of entry. That's not true. Since fiscal year 2012, Customs and Border Patrol has seized more than 11 million pounds of drugs between ports of entry compared to only 4 million pounds at ports of entry. In fact, Customs and Border Patrol has seized more drugs between ports of entry than at ports of entry every year since 2012. And just to be clear, when I say between ports of entry, I'm referring to the areas along our southern border that my colleagues across the aisle, since President Trump has been elected, have determined it's a partisan issue. We shall not have enhanced physical barriers. Prior to the President's election, this was a bipartisan conclusion. Mr. McDaniel, thank you for your service with the Thin Blue Line, sir. How has Hightower responded to this onslaught of illegal drugs, this, this incredible flow crossing our border? You have a hell of a program shared with America. How have you addressed this? Thank you, sir. What's the question again? Excuse me? How, how has Hightower responded to the incredible increase of illegal controlled dangerous substances coming through the Houston command and control sector? We've had to. In, in my prior experience with DEA, I had to really rethink everything because really we're having to join hand in hand with our treatment and prevention specialists there. We're having a holistic approach there and we're, we're still focusing on law enforcement, but we are realizing that we It's not business as normal as it was, say, uh, seven, eight years ago, is it, sir? No, sir. And, and that fentanyl, would be is, in my experience, is, is, the most, is the most dangerous drug I've ever seen, and I, I pretty much dealt with them all. That's correct. It, would a more comprehensive border strategy that includes enhanced barriers, modern technology, 21st century technology, and additional manpower, would, in your opinion, would that limit the dangerous drugs from being brought into our country between ports of entry? Yes, sir. And I go back to your opening statement. Anything you guys could do for law enforcement and that you continue to do for law enforcement is greatly appreciated. Do you think the expertise of law enforcement is more significant and meaningful than the expertise of bureaucrats and career politicians in D.C.? I, I'll, it's a dangerous place to answer that question. <laughs> it is. It is. And I'll let you tackle those tough questions. We'll let sir. America judge that. Finally, regarding tunneling has been mentioned, um, in my remaining 40 seconds, can you just clarify that tunneling across our border requires densities of population and criminal complicity on both sides of the border because tunneling is easily spotted from the air. You have to have a criminally complicit warehouse on the southern side of the border and a criminally complicit warehouse on the northern side of the border. And this is not even to mention the challenges of tunneling through bedrock. Would you basically concur with that? I would concur with that, sir. Thank you. So there are limited parts of our border where tunneling is an issue. Is that not correct? Yes, sir. Thank you, sir. I yield, Mr. Chairman.